Hey guys, my name is Hamish and I've been writing blog posts for people for six years now and I recently started using Conversion AI or Jarvis in order to create this content and today's video is going to be how to make a blog post in under 10 minutes using Jarvis that a client will pay 20, 30 or 40 dollars for. A couple of disclaimers, number one is if you're doing this for a client, put more effort in than I am doing in this video, I'm just showing you how quick it can be. Um, Although I th honestly believe the content that I create in this video would rank, so you know, take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, second disclaimer is there's an affiliate link in the description. If you want to support my channel, feel free to use it, but no pressure. You get a five day trial with 10,000 free words to see if you like the tool. Without any further ado, let's get straight into making a blog post with Jarvis in under 10 minutes. Open a new Jarvis document and go to the blog workflow. We're going to make a blog post in as short a time possible without any edits. So you can see how strong this tactic that I'm going to show you is. So let's get started. Um, describe the content you want to create. I want to create a uh, how to clean my shoes without destroying them. And then we type that into Google. And we, how do you properly clean your shoes? So we'll copy that. What is safe to use to clean my shoes? We'll go with that and we'll click here. So this should give us some more. How do I get my shoes white again? No, let's go with this one. I like that one. Um, how, uh, what material do I need to use to clean my shoes? Okay, so let's just go continue, generate ideas for the title. I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. So um, let's go to eight tips for getting them sparkling. Let's use that. Okay, intro paragraph. Let's hit generate. This is on the Jarvis app, and we are only, uh, I think, less than a minute in. Uh, chapter one, how to clean shoes. How do you properly clean shoes? No. Let's go with this one. No, let's go with this one. Okay. Open editor. So, shoes can be a hassle to clean. How do you properly clean them? Okay, so let's do compose first of all. See what see what get, comes out. Okay. So, uh, this can be how do you properly clean your shoes? Question mark. Kiwi stain remover. That's a perfect opportunity for an Amazon affiliate link. I'm not going to be putting links because this is just an example. So, um, The second step is, and then we hit compose again to brush the shoe. Use a blah, 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 blah. Perfect. What material do I use to clean my shoes? Um, if you don't want scratches, you should use. I have no idea. So we'll hit control J again. A cloth or a brush. Good. Uh, da, 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 da. Does baking soda remove smell from shoes? Make that H2. Make that H2. Okay. I uh, can't imagine the instruction. So it's not really the best choice. Hit Control J. As you can see, this is just creating content that I can't even keep up with, which is incredible. I absolutely adore this tool. Uh, people will pay $20 for this article that I'm creating now. Um, like it, It's just the way content works. Uh, you should clean your shoes at least. Control J. Hit that Control J button. Once a week more often, if they're one daily, what is it? Uh, we need a bit more info here. Uh, right. Hang on. Write some more information here. Control J. Mm. Okay, so this, for example, uh, I can copy this because this is relevant to the bit before, and I can beef up this here with this, uh, even though it's kind of contradictory actually. Um, you can also use vinegar instead of baking soda if you prefer as it does penetrate deep and remove smells. Okay, perfect. Um, how often should I clean my shoes? Um, it also depends on the kind of shoe. Control J. I just like to see what it comes up with. Perfect. 
Uh, how do I remove stains from my shoe? Perfect. Um, if the stains are still there, you should. No idea. Control J. Just look at that. It's incredible. I'm like, wow. It's just, it's just building this article. Guys, this is incredible. It, it's honestly incredible. Um, odors can be caused by bacteria buildup from um, your feet. And this can, control J, be dealt with by washing the shoe and using a vinegar soak. Perfect. This is actually a heading, potentially. Uh, suede shoes are more delicate than control J. I clean my canvas shoes. Wow, this is honestly blowing my mind. <laughs> wow, just wow. Like this isn't. I'm not saying this is like the best content ever, and you know this is going to be rank one for every single keyword ever. What I'm saying is people will pay twenty dollars for this, and it it will rank um, just because it's creating these long-term keywords that you can see. Another thing you can do is if you want to absolutely make sure that it's going to rank is you can uh, stick these in. Can leather shoes be cleaned with water? Which I'll protect from um, um, stains and other dirt. Okay, so to add relevancy, you can grab these if you're wanting to talk about a specific topic. And I can... Can leather shoes be da 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 with water? Hit Control J. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, amazing. How do you make old leather shoes look new again? Control J. Hmm. I don't like that, so we delete that. Um, you can make your old leather shoes as good as new by either Control J. Okay, this is what we're looking for as well. This is perfect. Um, adding lists as well. I really, really like that feature. So we'll make that a list. Kind of annoying that it doesn't get rid of the hyphen. This is something you can do in your uh, CMS or whatever. Uh, this will help to remove um, most of the dirt. Then, Control J. Okay, are you seriously telling me that your mind is not being being blown? Like, you, obviously, you can get rid of that. Uh, finally, you can take them to a specialist who will, control J, do it for you, okay. Okay, there we go. That is 912 words, and I'm just, I don't know how long that was, and obviously you would have to, so for example, let's just finish this up. After removing all items that need protection from being damp or... Um, I don't even know what this is about. One of the most effective ways to clean your shoes after you've been outside and running. After removing all the protection from being damp or um, being destroyed by the cleaning process, you can then control J. Pour water over the shoes. Perfect. Okay. Um, I would keep going personally, but instead I'm just going to wrap this up by doing that and write a um, summary paragraph. Control J. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I don't know how the I don't I don't know if this actually works properly. Uh, so to summarize, and then let's try that. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, 1,000 words, and I haven't actually looked at the timer. I'm really sorry about the or horrible OBS thing. But in fact, let's just quickly. Um, so yeah, get Grammarly for this. Uh, that's I don't know if that's actually right. That change. If you're sending this to clients, you want it to be perfect. So just very quickly go over it with Grammarly. Okay, so this would be perfect either for yourself or um, for a client. If you're doing it for a client, I would say you probably have to do a little bit more carefully, but. Personally, I think this is actually a really, really good article for the amount of time it took, and it only took me eight minutes, almost nine minutes. I mean, if you 
take into account that people are willing to pay about twenty dollars for this. Um, wait, uh, summing up best practices for, uh, for the C practices for cleaning your shoes. Okay, stick that into H2, and nine minutes we are done. Incredible, honestly, Jarvis is just, it's killing me how good it is. People will pay $20 for this, guys. Get them churned out, honestly. Oh, you're going to change the output length. I didn't know that. Uh, I'll see you soon with some more Jarvis content. I think I'm going to do this for um, different uh, ways to make money with Jarvis. Hope this helps, and peace out.